Okay, so here's the same things from the front view. So I have my wrist strokes. There, practice where this is isolated, touching, touching the edge of the cajon. So it's very much a wrist um, thing. So. so then I can practice hit with my fingers dead into the cajon. Okay, then there's the this sort of thing. Exaggerated. Then the kind of the skipping thing. Then the kind of pulling version. the heel toe thing but like uh, alternating like heel heel toe toe okay and then there's uh see the finger thing so there's just isolating doing fingers up and down. And there side to side. So you can see. And I'll even practice it like that sometimes where I'm where I'm really throwing my head. Like I'm trying to flick water off it almost and maybe a slight turn. index and these three fingers and then I do the wrist turn thing where I'm trying to do that basically so um, the other one that I didn't do on the the overhead shot was I do these two uh, fingers together and then this index and then the um, a middle and an index. So two, one, one, two, one. So I'll practice this like this is the downbeat, like one E and two E and three. Then I do it where this is the middle finger is the down B, like one E and uh, two P, or like one E and two E and three E and, or one E and two E and two P and four P and one E and two P and three P and four. Then I do it where this is the down B, like one E and two E and, like sometimes I do triplets, one and. So if I do triplets, it'd be like one and uh. Then I do triplets where this is the downbeat one and uh, two and uh. And then triplets where this is the downbeat one and uh, two. By doing this, you figure out which one's weak and get them stronger. So then you could do like that's an ostinato and then you can play, you know, if you get to build up your independence. So that's that lick that uh, like right, right, left, right, right. That's it. That's it. Just two wrist strokes, then I can do it with the slap and kind of heel toe. And then I can do it with the fingers. Okay. 
So if I went like one in to two in, then I could do, or start with the fingers, or the these three fingers, or, okay. And I basically think of this, each one is the downbeat, like I'll practice like one, E and a, or start with the left, one, E and a, one, E and a, or start with the left, these three fingers, one, E and a, or these three fingers, one, E and a. And then it'll help you figure out where your, where your weaknesses are. So when I was talking earlier about the to you about the uh, the paradiddle thing, sometimes you know the normal thing on on this drum set would be to go paradiddle paradiddle or just paradiddle paradiddle. That kind of thing. But then on the cajon to me it feels good to go paradiddle paradiddle. I'm actually accenting it. So then you could do double. So that's the other thing. Okay, um, and that's the the um, para diddle diddle para diddle diddle para diddle diddle. So if I isolate this here. So I could even do paradiddle diddles with the diddle, diddle being here. Paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle. So it just goes on and on and on. Par, paradiddle, paradiddle. So instead of paradiddle, paradiddle, para finger, and then para finger, uh, 